At the start of the game, the value of the score variable and the value of the miscount variable need to be zero. Also, the value assigned to the score variable needs to be displayed in the button type. For this, first drag a when screen gaming starts code block under screen gaming here. Next, drag a set app variable game state to code block under variables into when screen gaming starts code block. Now, click on this arrow and select app variable scope. Let's connect a code block with zero under math to the set app variable scope to code block. Click the variables again in the same way and drag a set app variable game state to code block here. Now, click on this arrow and select app variable miscount. Again, under math, a code block with zero is linked to the set app variable miscount to code block. Next, to display this score in the button tile, drag the set button tiles text to code block under the button tile like this and connect an app variable score code block under variables here. Next, we need to randomly change the background color of the button. Meanwhile, blue and green tiles need to move randomly from top to bottom. I first drag a when canvas one load score block under the events of the canvas blocks here. You need to start the timer because you want to count the next time. For this, I call timer one start code block under timer one is dragged into the when canvas one load code block. I drag a repeat while code block under control below call timer one start code block like this. Here, let's connect a code block with the equal sign in the logic for the condition. Drag an app variable game state code block under variables to the left of the equal sign. Let's drag a true code block under logic to the right with the equal sign like this. At the beginning of the game, the value of the game status variable was assigned as true. Now we need to change the background color of the button called button tile randomly from time to time when the game status is true. This is how the background color is changed every 10 seconds. We can use the timer for that. I drag an if code block under control into the repeat while code block. A code block with the equal sign under the logic is connected for the condition. Click timer 1 to the left of the equal sign and connect a timer 1's time in seconds code block. Let's drag a code block with the 0 in math to the right of the equal sign like this.